guys so it is june 11th right now it's 9 37 in the morning let me just show you guys like my phone real quick oh no we don't want the weather app to open like i said it's not well it's 9 38 right now in the morning and so if you guys saw my instagram page i posted how i was doing my paper last night um i have procrastinated on this paper for like three weeks four weeks um three four weeks basically three weeks the paper was doing may 30th right right where's my, where's my folder let me let me find my folder first of all here it is i don't even know how many weeks that was so I basically have to catch up on a lot of work. I had to catch up on Bible study homework, which I've completed all my Bible study homework, thank God. Um, there's supposed to be Bible study tonight, but there's, they might be changing it to minister's class tonight. So, I don't know what we're doing. I'm sorry. Um, my, my sis from church just uh, texted me because we both sitting here trying to finish this paper. But, uh, yeah, so I did that. Then I needed to complete the James 1 and James 2 observations. I completed James 1 which <laughs> it came out to like three pages front and back um the other page is like right here it's front and back um i need to do james 2 but i said i'm gonna hold off on james 2 because i do my observations is not complicated um it's, it's really not it's really simple for me to do observations so i said i was going to pause on that so that i could get this paper done it's 18 pages um and it has to be an apa format so I have my mother's uh, writer's reference. I had my own, but it got lost when we when we moved. So I have hers. Um, it's from Diana Hacker and Nancy Summers, seventh edition. This is something I used to use in college. Um, when I had papers and stuff like they required us to have this reference book. So my mom had it and she don't really use it. So I took it from her and put and got it in my room, on my reference shelf. Um, so yeah, right now I need to finish. I only got let's see how many pages I have, not including the title page. I mean, right now we're saying 10 pages altogether, but it's not 10 pages. I just wrote the titles of each of the doctrines so that I know. And I, I have them broken into page breaks so that I'm making sure I'm at least hitting the three-page mark. It is, I don't, I'm not going to have three full pages for each doctrine. It's just not possible. But right now I have, what's this one? Two, three, four, four pages. And I'm on the fifth page because I'm working on the doctrine of faith, which is the second doctrine now. The six doctrines are the doctrines of repentance from dead works, which is basically from sin and all that, um, doctrine of faith towards God or to God, doctrine of baptism, the doctrine of laying on of hands, the doctrine of the resurrection of the dead, and then the sixth one is the doctrine of eternal judgment. They're called the six fundamental doctrines of Christianity. Some people call them the first principles of the oracle of God or the principles of the doctrine of Christ. The scriptures for all of that is basically Hebrews 5 and 12, and then Hebrews 6, verses 1 and 2. So, um, we basically have to find the references and the, and the scriptures ourselves and explain each of these doctrines. And it's like one of those things, like, you know the definition of a word, but you don't know, like, the Webster's Merriam de definition of a word, and you start to stress out trying to find out that real definition. It's one of those. So... I'm sitting here texting my sis. We texting back and forth. We've been trying to do this paper since last night. Oh, Jesus. So, what I'm going to do this morning, um, hopefully I can start getting back into this paper by 11. Um, I want to at least spend an hour just catching up on my devotionals on my Holy Bible app. Um, because I haven't done them since Sunday. Only because Sundays is hard for me to do devotionals since we're up and out the house at 8. I don't wake up till 7. You know, I don't get up early enough in the morning on Sundays to do my devotionals. Um, and by the time we get home, it's like 10, 11 o'clock. I'm tired. I want to eat and go to sleep. And then Monday, which was yesterday, I normally do my Sunday and Monday devotionals. But because I was doing this paper and all of my homework, I didn't do anything. So I have three days of devotionals to catch up on on the Holy Bible app. So I'm opening up that now. Um, and then what I decided to start doing was I took one of my blank journals. This is literally a blank journal. What is that? I don't know what that is. But um, it's blank. And I decided to use this as an intercessory prayer journal. Um, just because I like to keep my prayers um, pretty much separate. And I want to make sure that I am praying for individuals every day. I know that there are people specifically that I need to like heavily pray for. And I don't want to put that in my personal prayer journal. Because I really want my personal prayer journal to be about 
praying for me and my son you know um if i'm praying for like my mom or my pastor or a friend or something i want to be able to go directly to that prayer journal um and i want to have an index so that i know uh on what page I prayed for so-and-so so that way I can go back and refer to that when God answers the prayers um, because normally what I would do in my prayer journal is let me open it keep in mind you guys my prayer journal I still haven't mm, yeah we're like this much into the prayer journal so I still have this much left only because I've been slacking oh, terrible but um, in my prayer journal I have a request page I'm not going to show you guys the written page but I have requests where I put request date and then a check mark for when it was answered and um, though that helps I don't want to keep it with my personal prayers because of my personal prayers are my personal prayers so I'm gonna change this up into more of a personal prayer journal and then I'm gonna have my intercessory prayer journal because I want to make sure that I'm praying for myself as well as praying for others I at least want to pray for at least three to four people a week um sometimes i don't sit down to pray or i just don't so um you know but yeah the devotional i'm doing right now is the plan that i've been whew, this plan we started this plan when did we start in april actually march march 7th this plan started and this was a 40-day um reading plan that i was doing with a few of you ladies um and i missed out on like so i missed out on like 20 plus days because i was just so focused on the minister's classes and stuff like that so, uh, yeah, I am now on day 26. I'm going to do 26, 27, and 28 today um, because I am actually loving this devotional. It's called Fast from Wrong Thinking. Um, if you can find it on um, the Holy Bible app, I'll probably leave a link to it down below. But it's Fast from Wrong Thinking. And it's it's so good. Um, it it, it just really talks about the different mindsets we have and the way that we think that is negative and how we can change those thoughts um, and change the way we think. So, I'm going to catch up on that. I still have all my Bibles and stuff here. I'm not sure if you guys can see, like, all of my Bibles are here. Pay that bag, no mind. Um, that bag has summer clothes for my son that I need to take out and put away. So, yeah. And pretty much, yeah, I fixed up my bed this morning, I got back, I did some administrative work today, um, because I'm working on, like, literature from my church to give out for, like, outreach and stuff like that, but I have so much administrative work to do, but I don't want to do it because, not that I don't want to do it, but I can't do it, because I have this paper to do, and this paper is actually due today, I hope not, though, because they didn't tell us if we have class or not, fingers crossed we don't, I know that's terrible, but I am going to get into that so I'm going to mm, I'm gonna do this devotional I'm going to do a quick verbal prayer um I have some grapes here for me to eat because I'm hungry but I don't want to make anything because I want to get this paper done I have me some pink lemonade because it has a little bit of lavender so what I did was I bought pink lemonade and regular lemonade mixed them up and then I put some of that lavender um the lavender gourmet syrup in there oh god it is so delicious i'm trying to hold out on getting coffee right now so okay so i'm gonna show you guys how i do my devotions and i need to upload a video today which i almost forgot to do so I'm actually going to go to YouTube.com and upload a video. <laughs> okay, so. Sorry if you guys didn't be chewing, it's great. But like I said, pass from wrong thinking. I got this journal from CVS. And I was going to use it as a bullet journal. But I needed a journal for uh, my devotionals. So it was pretty enough. I decided to use it for that. I put the date, and yes, I have the dates for all three days, because I still like to keep track of the dates. Um, I put the title, I put the topic for the devotional and the scriptures. So these are all of the scriptures here. I write them here, because I like to go back into my devotional journals, read them, and see what I can um, connect with. But I need to upload a video today. I have so many videos, editing and stuff like that, because summer is here. Basically, summer will be here in like 10 days, and my son will be home, which means it'll be hard to make videos. So, 
Okay. As you guys can see, the title says, I feel stuck. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. It says, I feel stuck. Day 26. And I have, I feel stuck here. So... So I am done with devotionals for this morning right now. So I just want to talk about the pens that I use real quick. Um, I use a regular big round stick medium point pen. Um, I use a Sharpie pen as well. Just a black marker, but I like the Sharpie pens. And then the Papermate Ink Joy gel pens. I love these things. I have the whole set. Um, I'm pretty sure there's like four or five colors I'm missing, like gold, silver, and stuff like that. But um, I use this magenta and this teal as of right now to do my devotionals. I'm using these because they're running out. Like, they're, the ink is, like, super, super low. Like, let's see if we can see how low the ink is. This is teal. And this magenta one, I think, is, like, super, super low. Yeah, so you can see. I'm just trying to use the ink up completely before I move on to... Uh, using the new ones but yeah so right now i'm getting ready to upload this video <sighs> i'm almost done with my grapes so i'm gonna turn you guys around so you guys can see what i'm doing and see how i make my thumbnails as well so yeah let's get to that One, 
Okay, guys, so I just uploaded the video. Let me see if I can get you guys to see. Oops, sorry. But, um, bad view. But, yeah, I uploaded the video. When I was getting ready to show you guys how I make it my thumbnail and everything, I got a message. So I had to answer that, um, business. But, uh, yeah, I just found out that class will not be going on tonight. Um, which means I have till Thursday to have this paper done, thank God. I'm still going to try to get at least four of the six doctrines completed. I've already completed repentance. Right now, I am on the doctrine of faith. So, yeah. I want to do faith. And baptism is going to be, like, simple. I want to do faith and baptism. Um, the one that might be a little iffy for me is the laying on of hands because... I don't know. I just feel like I'm going to have to really think about that one. So, I don't have to rush, thank God. So, yeah. Right now, for Doctrine of Faith, let me show you guys what I have. Is it going to even show you? I don't know if you guys can see, but this is like all I have. This little paragraph right here. For Doctrine of Faith. So, yeah. I'm going to try to fix this camera a bit. I have all my Bibles out, so, yeah. Not all my Bibles. I got like three Bibles out. I'm trying to get this so you guys can see me work today. Hopefully that works. But yeah, I am listening to music right now. So much good tunes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put my music on. It's going to focus. I'm going to put on Victory by J Moss. when I say God is good whew, he's good so we just got the confirmation text from our pastor that class for this week is canceled so we're not gonna have class until June 20th hallelujah 
but she is expecting us to have all our assignments and the paper done by then so all I have to do is James 2 which I'm so thankful for and then the paper I am going to do one doctrine a day so today I'm just gonna finish up my doctrine of faith um, and then tomorrow I'll tackle baptism I might even do baptism today cuz I, th I feel like baptism would be easy to, easier for me to do but um, I whew, you guys understand I'm grateful so because I was literally stressing out so I'm going to do faith today do a bit of James as well and then tomorrow do baptism um, I know over the weekend I'll be able to do a lot and I'm also thankful because my sister's prom is on Thursday so we still have things to do I get her shoes and stuff like that um, and I'm helping her get ready for her prom which is exciting and yeah and I'm gonna take some photos of her which I'm like so excited for my sister's prom and then her and my son are graduating next week on the same day like an hour apart my son's graduation is at 8 30 I think hers is either at 9 or 10 I hope it's at 10 but I think her graduation was at 9 so luckily her school is not far like their schools are not far from our house my son's school is maybe like eight minute drive from the house um, my sister's school is about 10 15 minutes so once her gradu my son's graduation is done, I have to shoot directly over to my sister's graduation next week. So yeah, um, I'm I'm like thankful that I don't have to stress out. So I'm gonna probably end this vlog here. I will post on um, Instagram my progress with my paper if you guys are interested. But yeah, I'm like excited <laughs> like. So, I really, I don't have a lot as far as, like, my faith goes, um, the doctrine of faith toward God. Mm. Okay, so I have maybe, what, one, two, three, four, four paragraphs right now, which is basically a page. Um, I'm trying to make sure everything is at least three pages, because that's what she wants. She wants it to be a total of 18 pages but we'll see um because the way i'm doing it is i'm i have them like separated on different pages let me see if i can show you guys what i mean i hope you guys can see so like um i had everything on separate pages so like this is the title page here then i had my like introduction here I had then separated this um, doctrine of repentance, if you guys can see that. I put that on a whole separate page by doing like a page break so that I could make sure it was three pages long. And then I went back once I had the three pages and backspaced it so that it could be on one page. So then um, from here, like you see this right here, I will, what I will do is when I'm done with writing my three pages for the doctrine, I'll delete it, like delete that page break and bring it up and it'll come right there um like right and let me just show you guys what i'm talking about but i like delete it this way backspace and then it'll look like this center it and then bold and then it'll just flow from the first paragraph from that paragraph into the next one so that's how i plan to do it um but yeah we have doctrine of faith here and then we have the doctrine of baptisms on the next page. So right now I only have one page for doctrine of faith. So I got two more to go. Um, and then we have the doctrine of laying of laying on of hands, which I haven't started that. Uh, the doctrine of the resurrection of the dead, which I only have resurrecting power there. And then the doctrine of eternal judgment. And right now all I have is that judgment for all is inevitable. Believer or non-believer, we will all be judged. That's how I'm going to start off the paragraph, and then I'll go from there. So right now, it's like a total of 10 pages, but it's not really fully 10 pages. As you guys can see, I'm missing a lot of stuff. So, um, I'm just, oh, I'm grateful the Lord heard our cries. I'm grateful that I can now actually prioritize my administrative work back into my schedule, because I was freaking out trying to get that paper done. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to end my vlog here. Oh, I hope I didn't spill that water. Um, but you guys saw I was using a bunch of things. So I'm using the Biblical Cyclopedic Index to get some definitions and scriptures. I was doing that with faith and I highlighted some stuff. Um, I'm using my Bible dictionary as well to get definitions and understand the terminology. 
Right now, I only have three Bibles out. I have um, my number one. This is the Women's Study Bible from Thomas Nelson, KJV. I love this Bible so much. It's amazing. It's really useful, um, and it helps me understand the Bible as a woman. Um, then I have, obviously, my Thompson Chain Reference. We need this. This is not a study Bible, but it's a study Bible. It's a reference Bible. It references itself. It proves itself with Scripture. So I have that. And then my new beloved, my new beloved, um, is in this Bible case. But um, it is the Spirit Filled Life Bible. So those are the three Bibles that I really like heavily use to study the Word of God. I do use a CSB Worldview Bible every now and then. Um, and my HCSB, which is actually over there. But, um, yeah. I have to keep cracking on some things. It's 12 one right now, so I'm taking a break. I'm going to eat me a bag of rice. And I know that sounds crazy. But, um, I have rice being made right now. And I'm going to eat a whole bowl of rice. Um, because I really wanted some shrimp with the rice. But I don't feel like going into the... We have, a, like, a set of, like, new pots and pans and I don't feel like going into the box because the box is underneath the microwave that's underneath the Keurig box that's underneath another like I don't feel like moving all those boxes to take out a pan so I'm just gonna eat rice <laughs> um I wanted to make some honey glazed shrimp shrimp honey glazed shrimp so bad but um that ain't going down so I'm probably going to eat right now and I'll probably continue this later on tonight because right now my mind is like going and going so I'm going to eat, I'm going to relax until I have to leave. I'll leave at like 2.20 to pick up my son. Um, and yeah. I'm probably going to read. I have a reading vlog coming up for you guys on um, Until the Mountains Fall by Connie Linka said. It is book three in the Shelter of the Most... Shelter of the Most High. <laughs> it is book three in the Cities of Refuge series that she has. It's a saga. Um, so I have that coming. I ha don't have the physical book yet. I do have an e-art that was sent to me. So, sorry, I just got an email about Bible study, but um, I do have an e-arc of it. I don't think I'm going to read it on my Nook, though. I, I think I'm going to read it on my phone. Yeah, I'm probably just going to read it on my phone. I have an e-arc of it. Um, and I don't know, there's this thing, like, when I get e-arcs, I, I like e-arcs, but there's something about a physical book, and I still have, like, I have a physical copy coming because I am a part of the launch team for the book, um, and the author is now talking about book four, which is, like, has me so excited, and, um, I, I love the series so much, so I'm gonna do a reading blog on, um, Until the Mountains Fall soon, so that's probably not gonna come until, like, the end of the month, so yeah, that was my mom, we was just talking about how class is not <laughs> going on this week, um, but yeah, so... I am going to have that reading vlog coming for you guys soon. I have a lot of videos that are like in the process of being edited. I'm actually currently about to edit a video, matter of fact, right now since I ain't got to rush from this homework. <laughs> I'm actually going to edit this video right now. Um, which video is this? Yeah, I have a book review I need to edit for Saturday. I have my video prepared for Thursday. So yeah, I need to record, edit the videos for Saturday and the videos for next week um, and then I need to record my tag video for the uh, Kingdom Sisters YouTube collab so yes I'm excited I can relax I can breathe I can live oh and I do want to tell you guys I saw um, breakthrough yesterday while I was doing my paper that's probably what it was too because I was literally like focused on that movie I couldn't focus on my paper that movie had me in my feelings. It had me with so many emotions. It made me cry. It made me laugh. Breakthrough is such a phenomenal movie. I highly suggest everyone to watch that movie. Um, it really just... It talks about faith without really talking about faith. Like, you see the faith... Um, you, you really see faith throughout all the characters and different aspects and you even have like an atheist in the movie who actually comes to term with uh, believing God and having faith. Um, there's like a pastor in the movie who should have more faith than his flock, but he doesn't. It's just, the movie is amazing. I highly suggest you guys check out Breakthrough. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do right now. <laughs> My food is ready, so I'm going to eat. I'm going to edit this video. And uh, hopefully I can have this vlog up by Thursday. 
maybe Thursday um maybe Sunday I don't know we'll see when I have this vlog up but I do want to start doing vlogs when I have a lot of stuff to do so yeah I got a lot of work to do a lot of administrative things that need to get done that I've been slacking on but I can do those now because I don't have to rush on my homework so whew, thank god but um yeah that's it for this vlog and I'll catch you guys in the next one hey guys so it is June 19th um as I'm recording this 11 25 a.m. and basically what ends up happening in with this video as you guys are watching it is that I compiled a bunch of days together to make this kind of like vlog of me finishing my paper <laughs> um sorry about the glare from my light but um I finally completed the doctrine of baptisms last night like it was so complicated and I feel like I'm still missing a type of baptism because now apparently there are four but I'm going to leave it at 3 and then make sure that I ask my my pastor on um, Thursday if they were really 4. Because I picked up 3, which were the water baptism, the baptism into Christ, and then the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But then there's also the baptism of fire, so I'm not sure. But now I'm on to the doctrine of laying on of hands, which I don't think is going to be too hard to do. But, yeah. I literally just recorded a video of the um rose books rose book of charts in bible maps and all that 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 thing i just literally made the video on my throat i burned it from my coffee when i heated it up i didn't i, I didn't think it was too hot but apparently it was and like it burned my tongue and it burned my throat my bro my throat hurts on top of me coming down with a code so yeah my throat is a little scratchy um, I have water here and my coffee still because I'm still drinking my coffee. Um, of course, it has lavender and vanilla in it because it's just amazing. But um, I'm getting ready to edit this video because I want this video to be up for tomorrow. Okay, guys. So I finished Doctrine 4, which is the Doctrine of the Laying of Hands. I finished that and um that was another long one because there's so many reasons to lay hands on somebody such as healing delivering um anointing to ordain to bless so i had to do that but yes i finished it and now i'm on to the doctrine of the resurrection of the dead i did start it already but i'm going to probably try to knock out two more paragraphs before i walk out of here it's 143 right now and i have to leave here about 227 to be at my son's school by 2.30, 2.45-ish. But yes, you guys, I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll, I'm on a roll. Let me grab a pen. So I can... Mark this off. Once I'm done with this, I've, I will be okay once I'm done with this paper. Um, I'll be okay <laughs> once I'm done with this paper. Because then I can get back into the reading and... The personal studies I wanted to do. Because I have not started any of my personal studies in my journaling Bible. Nor have I started the Jonah one. Like at all. I haven't started those. And um, my reading has been going fine. It's just the studying I haven't been able to really do. So. My throat is really on fire. I took some cold medicine that my mom had. Um, but yeah. I'm on a roll. I'm, I'm getting this paper done. So I am now... Four done, completing number five right now. Then I have number six. Once I'm done with this, I can spend tomorrow knocking out James. Because I still have to do James too. I'm a little bit, like I said, I'm a little behind, but I'm I'm getting there, you know? But um yeah, I'm on the doctrine of the resurrection of the dead. And right now I'm finding out that there are two different like two types of resurrection. There is the first resurrection, which is basically that of um the righteous. And then you have the second resurrection, which is that of the unrighteous. Um, which basically means that believers will be going to um, Christ to be judged. And then the unbelievers will be going to the white, the, the, the great white throne. Yes, the great white throne to be um, judged. So we're knocking that out. So, yeah, I'm, it's going along. It's, it's going good. It's going good. Um... I'm determined to finish this paper so that I can print it out, read through, edit, and then fix any edits. That way tomorrow I can just hand my paper in because I'm over it. Um, right now I am at 15 pages. No, not 15. 14. 
14, 15, 15 pages because the first page does not count. So it's 16 total if you include the title page, but um, I'm at 15 pages, which is great for me. I'm proud of myself, 15 pages, um, but I still have three for the Doctrine of Resurrection and three for the Doctrine of Eternal Judgment. Which is going to be crazy. So, um, I'm finding that I'm doing two and a half for the last three doctrines just because I don't know so much about it and I have to do so much research. Um, looking up scriptures and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, I'm getting ready to actually just look through my biblical encyclopedic index and my Bible dictionary at the information. I feel like crap, you guys. Like, I really do. <clears throat> resurrection resurrection here we go so it's arising from the dead there is the doctrine of ah okay accomplished proof resurrection of christ I'm just looking through it right now because there's so many like, different options for resurrection. It's ridiculous. Well, the key scripture I have for that is going to be um, Revelations 25 through 6 and then 11 through 15, which talks about the two types of resurrection. So, yeah, I am getting all this together. Yeah, spiritual resurrection. There we go. See, I have that looked up here, and then I need to look it up in my compact Bible dictionary. And I'm definitely still going to get a new dictionary. This is the one I'm using right now, but I'm definitely going to get a new one. I can order it now, but I'm trying not to order it right now. <laughs> okay, resurrection of Jesus Christ. Restitution. Okay, so I have it. I just have to read like three pages of information. I feel like a hot mess, you guys don't understand. I need to open up Revelations in my Thompson chain reference right now. My throat really is on fire. Like, I burned the mess out of my throat and did not mean to do that. And it really hurts and it's really scratchy. Um, I'm trying to get to Revelation. Hebrews. Here we go. Oops. I'm trying to do this with one hand is ridiculous. I'm like literally sitting here. Flipping through. Here we go. 20 and then I said 5 through 6 which is about the first resurrection and then... Hmm. Well now I'm confused because I think that has more so to do with the... Hmm. I guess I'll just have to use both of those at the same time. Maybe? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Because I think the resurrection of the dead and the eternal judgment um, doctrines work hand in hand. Like, a lot of these doctrines work hand in hand. So, like, um... I know the doctrine of baptism and that of laying on of hands go hand in hand. The resurrection of the dead and internal judgment go hand in hand. And I think repentance from dead works and faith toward God also go hand in hand. So a lot of them can't be done without the other, which is why they're done in the order that, like, they're mentioned in the order that they're mentioned in Hebrews 6, 1 through 2. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know, it's 149. I think I'm going to finish editing this video, take a pause for a minute. Let's save the paper. 
Yeah, I think I'm just going to work on editing right now until I need to pick my son up and then come back and knock out this doctrine. Then take a break, get some reading done, and then do the final doctrine later on tonight. Um, yeah. I feel like crap. Like, I really do. But I'm going to get it all done. So, yeah, I'm proud of myself right now. Thumbs up. Doing really, really good. Um, I guess I just, like I said, needed that break, that time to just get my mind together because I was just making myself sick. Seriously. But, yeah. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to text my, text my son's father right now and um, get back to editing, I guess. So, yeah. I'll come back to you guys probably when I'm done with the resurrection of the dead and let you guys know my thoughts. And then, yeah. Oh, hold on, guys. This is a very real situation. Um, I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me. My throat has gotten worse. Um, <coughs> I'm probably making it worse because I'm drinking ginger ale. But, um, you guys, I'm at 16 pages right now. I am... I'm like going back and forth between resurrection and um, the, what is the last one, eternal judgment. I'm going back and forth between them because it's like I only have two pages for resurrection, but it's supposed to be three, so I want to at least try to make it two and a half pages, like at least get half of a third page. Um, the eternal judgment, I don't think that's going to be hard. Like I said, it's not hard. Um, all the, it, it, the Bible tells you about eternal judgment all the time. You know, but yeah, it's 11:13. I should be done, fully like completed with edits and everything by 1 a.m. Because I'm going to actually print my paper out front and back, and um, I'll be done with it. And I want to edit it because my pastor is a author. She has written three books. Um, she's also a teacher in a school. Not not a teacher. She, well, she's a teacher, but um, she also runs a school so you know them edits gotta be right make sure there's no grammar punctuation missing and stuff like that so that's why i say by one so that's 11 13 right now i'm hoping to be done about 12 30 that way i can print my paper out between 12 30 and one because i want to get in bed at least by one o'clock because i'm really, really tired um but my throat sucks i really want some ice cream right now but i'm probably not going to get that I'm at, it says 17 pages, but I'm saying 16 because I don't count the third page. I'm at 16 pages, which means I'm two pages away from finishing my paper, which is awesome. So I'm going to quickly just turn you guys around so you guys can see, and then the next time I come on camera, I will have a completed copy of all 18 pages for you guys. Okay, guys, so what I did was just split the screen in half so you guys can see the paper. I'm going to try to do this without having my hand in the way of the camera, but, um, so we are going to scroll to the top and this is my paper. I am proud of myself you guys. I'm sorry guys, I'm not looking there because I want to make sure it's getting picked up on camera. But um, yeah, this one is the Doctrine of Eternal Judgment. Like I said, it's not a lot. Um, I have a lot more stuff actually like typed out somewhere else. I put it in Evernote. I need to put it in here. But um, yeah. This right now is um, the doctrine of the, what is it, resurrection of the dead. So like I said, it's two pages. Um, so I need to just probably give like two or three more paragraphs. And then I can go back to Evernote because I have a lot of stuff open on my computer and I'm currently editing a video at the same time. Blessed for the fact that I have desktops. I don't know if you guys have like different desktops, but yeah. So I'm editing this video right now to go up tomorrow, which is Thursday. I'm not sure when this blog this this blog will probably be up next week Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end this hair up again. It's late. I have this big bun on my head just because I didn't feel like really fixing my hair. The ginger ale is burning my throat and my tongue, but it's good. So yeah, I'm gonna come back on when I'm completely done i actually need to finish editing this video watch the last portion and then export it so i'm gonna do that now before i finish this paper so yeah 
Okay, guys, so, um, it is 11.58, and I'm getting really tired. Um, I feel like crap, honestly. I'm just, I'm not feeling good. <clears throat> and you guys can hear it in my throat. I, I don't feel good. Um, I'm currently at 15 pages. Um, it says 16, but I'm taking out the cover page, so 15 pages. I think what I'm gonna do is... I'm just going to try to make at least two more pages for eternal judgment in the morning. I have about like three hours. My son's going to go to school from 8 to 10. 8, 9, 10. So yeah, about two hours. Um, so I'm going to take those two hours to finish this because I'm like getting tired and the, I have to learn when to shut my body down. But I'm basically done, which is a plus. Um, so... Let me turn off my Bluetooth. Bluetooth is dying. But, um, yeah, I'm, like, really tired. My son is on the bed, knocked out. My throat is killing me. Um, I don't know if you guys can see my other Bibles are sitting there, but I literally have completed all of <coughs> the doctrines, like I said. I have my notes for Eternal Judgment already. I just have to plug it in to an actual like paper format because I love to use Evernote to jot my notes down but um yeah it's midnight now 12 midnight don't you guys like my phone screen it's so cute I just downloaded this new lock screen today um it's from Moody Publisher I'll leave a link below if you guys are interested in their like uh, wallpapers but yeah um oh I also ordered the last two Bible studies I needed from them. I was going to wait until they had it available for review, but I just ordered them off of Amazon because they were like $10, like $9 or some change. So those will be here tomorrow because for some reason I have free one day shipping. So yeah, those two books, those two Bible studies will be here tomorrow because I know a lot of you guys are asking me to share my Moody Publisher Bible studies because I have so many of them and I love each and every one of them. So I'm going to do that video, but the paper is just about done. Um, I'm literally just gonna, I'm, I'm not even gonna sh stretch for 15 pages because that will be three more pages to go. Um, I just, I can't think of anything else concerning resurrection, so I'm just done with it. Um, I'm not gonna trust myself out. If I can at least hit the 17 page, 16, 17 page mark, I'll be good. Like I said, I'm at 15 pages right now. Um, but once I plug everything in, yeah, almost at 16 pages, so... I'm going to do a couple more paragraphs for the Doctrine of Eternal Judgment, um, do a quick read-through tomorrow, and then try to print it out before we leave, because we are going to New York early, since my son, my mom, and my brother has doc has doctor's appointments, so that's the goal. Um, if I can get up at four, I will. The problem is I always get back in the bed after my alarm goes off, so it's 12.01 right now. Sorry about the beeping, I just, I don't care to fix it, because I'm ready to go to sleep, but... I'm going to take these glasses off. I'm going to leave everything out the way it is. And um, I'll pop back in tomorrow and let you guys know what's what. Hey guys, so as of today, it is Friday, June 21st. And I apologize about the beeping. I did not reset the um, smoke detectors. But yeah, my son just graduated. I got his little diploma here. And they use the Dr. Seuss book as a like, yearbook. So, like, a lot of the teachers and staff signed the inside of his book. Um, then we went to my sister's graduation, but we couldn't get in because apparently there's so many people. And a lot of the parents are, like, upset and crying because they can't see their kids graduate. And I actually saw one parent pull their child out. So, yeah, like, it's crazy. So, I'm home right now. I'm in the middle of cleaning and organizing stuff. Um, I need to put all of my Bibles and stuff back. But, um, here is my paper, printed double-sided. I finished it on Thursday, emailed it to the, um, my pastor, and in class we talked about the paper. I think only four, or three or four of us actually completed the paper. A lot of pe other people were still working on it. She extended it to, um, the week before the last day of class, which is great. <coughs> and has basically told everyone to rework and redo the paper. So, when I did my paper, I only talked about three baptisms. 
um, but there's actually seven different types of baptisms. And then I did two resurrections when there's technically three. So I have to go back and rework those. But she also wants us to personalize them and um, be able to explain how we can apply them to our lives. And when we started the papers, we did it in a more technical kind of research type of style. That's not how she wanted it done. So I do have mine printed out. I am going to read through it. I'm going to edit it. My pastor is still going to edit my, she's going to still read through it, edit it, and send her suggestions back to me. So when she, after I have her edits and then I'm done with editing mine, I'm going to completely rework my paper um, in a different way. Um, my son's father just told me that his SD card formatted, so all the pictures that were taken at our son's graduation... Yeah, all the pictures that were taken at our son's graduation are basically gone. Luckily, I have a few, like, video clips, but they're not super clear, but that's okay. I was able to be there to see my son graduate, and that's fine. I mean, it is sad because a lot of his family members could not come to the graduation, so they're not going to even see pictures. So, he also took pictures with his teachers and stuff, so, you know, it's a little sad. But my mom is texting me now because stuff with my sister's graduation, like, it's, it's crazy. They had to call the cops, the chief officers. The mayor was at my son's school, and then he went to the high school for the middle school graduation having the middle school graduation in the high school and the mayor was in there for two minutes and he left real quick you guys real quick because there are parents out there literally crying and getting ready to fight banging on the windows because they can't see their kids graduate and i think that's terrible that they have to deal with that but it's raining and they can't have it outside because a lot of the kids were slipping and getting their cap and gowns wet so i mean it sucks but yeah, I'm in the midst of cleaning. So as of right now, this vlog concerning the paper is done for now. I will come back with an updated uh, video or vlog, I guess, of the paper because, I, like I said, I have to rework it and everything. So my paper as of now is 16 pages. <coughs> Sorry, 16 pages, right? Yeah, it's 17 with the cover page, but it's 16 pages, and we're supposed to have 18. So, now that I know how to rework it and redo it, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have more than 18 pages. But, yeah, that's it for now, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.